his problem. He want everything I do. Yeah. He want to make it like he created me, and that's not what it is. He keep, like I said, you could have gave that beat to anybody. Nobody was going to make everything else but me. And shout out again to all those people who hate my guts, but is sitting in a quiet place listening to my show. You are obsessed and sick, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. and Let's get into something else. what's good you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl ebony all right you guys there are several topics i do want to discuss in this video the first topic being none other than the rapper and producer hit kid coming out to air out glorilla and to also put out there that her new label is trying to take him to court over a song he created talk about a mess he also clears up the fact that cardi b allegedly did not say that sweetie needed to be removed because of Offset. So let's get into it. So you guys know that Hit Kid is a producer. He is the creator and mastermind behind the song FNF. Now he is basically saying that when he put, you know, Glorilla on the song, he warned her ahead of time that this song was going to blow up. And he also warned her that labels are going to be coming for her. So to make sure that she understood that this song is still going to be solely copyrighted to him and her. However, you guys know that once you sign to a label, it's especially once you sign a 360, the label tries to take ownership of any content you have actually put out before you get signed because they want to keep making money. Talk about a mess. Now, after this happened, Hit Kid actually found out that they were trying to take the song away from him. So he did take to Twitter to air out what was going on behind the scenes. And when he aired this out, he actually let us in on a little bit of tea and actually contradicted any belief that Cardi B asked for Sweetie to be removed due to her being with Offset allegedly. So Hit Kid started with this. I did my best to protect you and the girls. This is only a portion of what I've been through. I'm bringing this to light before the word gets out like I'm a bad guy. I'm a stand-up guy and I stand on my business and my morals. I told you and your manager every day that we was in LA with Sweetie, that the labels were going to try to sign you because of FNF. So watch out. I also told you to let me know when the labels reached out so we can be on the same page but you still went and signed my song without telling me so basically these folks are trying to take me to court over fnf because they want to own the song but they want to own the song to put it on this ep which both parties knew so tell me how you gonna put fnf in your contract without telling me and jen from 300 entertainment lame for telling her boss i was signed to them and i wasn't somebody says it's only a matter of time nine times out of ten i bet she used in-house attorneys he said i told her and her manager not to use any lawyers from the label but they still did a person says is it true that sweetie was removed from the fnf remix per cardi b's request he said nah only paperwork issues offset called me to get cardi b on the remix after we couldn't get sweetie on the remix finalized i'm about to be one of the greatest creatives ever to come out of Memphis. Wait, I'm telling him if I sign y'all, you know what I'm saying? I want him to come with me. I'm saying that the whole time. And then another thing he kept saying, it was, I can't remember ex exactly what it was about, but he ended up saying, if they want to, they gonna have to pay me. I forgot what exactly what amount he said. He just said between 100K or 500K. They gonna have to pay me for this song. He got the same thing after he kept saying labels called me. So I'm like, he on some other So, He's saying I use CMG lawyers. My lawyer is not a CMG lawyer. He was trying to get me to use his lawyer, though. He was like, use my lawyer, use my lawyer. No, I'm not using your lawyer, you man, because I'm not u using your lawyer. I, I used another lawyer, and he not CMG lawyer. He wrote that bar. He just said, say it again at the end. That's, that's his problem. He want everything I do. Yeah. He want to make it like he created me, and that's not what it is. He keep, like I said, you could have gave that beat to anybody. Nobody was going to make everything else but me. I was the only person that was gonna make Evan up. So stop acting like you discovered me. I gave he could credit on more but okay. He a, he's a great producer. He just do and I was getting mad like I swear to God I cried. So come like you you talked about how people deals and you trying to do me the same way. Like we thought we was cool before I did. 
and now you like this money and you turn on me like you not trying to give me no percentage of the song they lying on here like they trying to do 50 50 and they not so it was crazy like that i never bought so look you guys what is my thought about this well hey kid did get online to basically voice his frustrations do i think that he has um a good point absolutely but i also think that that is the nature of the game as soon as glorilla signed that 360 she pretty much signed over the rights to a lot of the stuff that she worked on before she was in her deal and a lot of times rappers and producers who aren't big enough to defend themselves especially legally okay do get pushed off to the sidelines and a lot of their work does get taken from them because they don't have the means to fight it so i also think that another side of this is that he could have maybe aired this out privately with glorilla it did make him seem like he was out here looking for some support right but i think that the most important thing about this is that at the end of the day once glorilla signed that contract even if it is made by you done by you blood sweat and tears that label now owns that and they're not going to stop and anything not to get that away from you because they want to make sure that they're recouping everything they put into Glorilla because she's in a 360. So this is so unfortunate. Um, Much love to, you know, hit kid and I do feel bad for him. But I also appreciate the fact that he cleared up that situation with Cardi B by saying, look, Cardi B did not ask for Sweetie to be removed, okay? It was a paperwork issue. But I also find it interesting that Offset is calling people asking for Cardi B to be on songs. I mean, what? <laughs> what <laughs> like is that what <laughs> I've never heard of a husband calling people to be on their songs but you know it's a music industry so maybe that's the way it works I don't know all right you guys the next topic is none other than people accusing Jason Lee of stealing from Kanye West now you guys know that Jason Lee did have some closeness to Kanye over the last couple of months we saw them pictured outside of a brunch where Jason Lee did do an interview with Kanye and he actually came out to say that he would be running the Kanye media portion of Kanye's business well it does seem that Jason Lee has now been fired allegedly and people believe that he could have stole from Kanye West due to a Drink Champs interview where Kanye West said people were walking in with too much Balenciaga. Check this out. Cause is this true that Jason Media was running Yay Media and now he's not? Is that true? Yeah, he's, he's not running it. Um, he, he not running it. Um, I just felt like people just walking in with too much Balenciaga. You know, if you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's like, they just out here like flexing, you know what I'm saying? They just flexing, like, you know what I mean? And I don't like somebody saying, well, I'm gonna be the voice of Ye. Ye the only voice of Ye. Mm -hmm. Ye the only manager of Ye. Like I, like, I look at every single bill I pay. I only pay bills on a Friday. And I look at everyone one by one by one by one. Like, I was thinking, getting to be a billionaire would take me out of having to do work. Now, one of my biggest jobs is keeping my money right. <laughs> because and there's a lot of checked. people that's on a full-time job to take my money. Right. And I've literally lost hundreds of millions of dollars by not looking close enough. Chow. So Kanye said he has to protect his money. Now look, Kanye didn't come out and say that Jason Lee stole, but the implication is there allegedly. He literally said people was walking in with too much Balenciaga. He also says nobody speaks for him. And he also says that even though he has to protect himself, he also has to protect his money. And he said, you know, people was walking in with too much Balenciaga. He likes to see how much much each person is paid so any reasonable person would wonder if Jason Lee was maybe getting paid more than Kanye would have liked right I mean walking in with too much Balenciaga Balenciaga cost oh my god this is a hot mess Jason Lee did you steal from Kanye I just want to know <laughs> Like, all jokes aside, Jason Lee, was you stealing from Kanye? It's a question. Like, I'm not even going to say it's true or not because this entire conversation that Kanye West had with Drink Champs can be taken either way. But it does seem like Kanye is trying to say you was taking more than you were supposed to get because you was walking in flexing off of his dime. Allegedly. Ooh. Talk about a mess. Yikes. <laughs> not a thief. Yikes. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> 
Chill. <laughs> How do you take from Kanye West? Jason, what is going on with Jason Lee? Jason Lee is also out here fighting with another YouTube content creator. Jason Lee is doing the most these days. Like Jason, all we want to know is if you stole from Kanye, baby. That's all we want to know, okay? All jokes aside. Now you guys, the final topic in this video is none other than Little Kim jumping under Lotto's comments to show Lotto some love amidst her beef with Nicki Minaj. Now you guys know that Little Kim and Nicki Minaj obviously have not repaired their beef yet and Lotto and Nicki Minaj did get into a very heated argument on Twitter. Not even 24 hours after this, Little Kim wanted to jump into Lotto's comments to show her some love. She said, my boo looks so fire, queen. Now when she did this, people started calling Little Kim bitter. I actually went through some of Lotto's posts. I never saw Lotto or Kim showing this much love to each other and you know, I wanted your guys' thoughts on this. So for her to do it, it just seems so, so, you know, calculated and strategic and who knows maybe they talk behind the scenes we don't know i guess we have to find out and see but people on social media were not here for it now before we wrap up this video you guys i also want to take a second to mention the fact that debrat actually spoke out in defense of Nicki minaj and this whole grammy debacle you guys know that Nicki minaj spoke out that she felt that because super freaky girl was moved to the pop category that so should big energy lotto song because they're similar and they're also pretty much pop records now debrat actually sat out and she did speak on what Nicki Minaj had to say. Check this out. Pop, because it's not a pop record. It's she right. rapped on the whole yes. song. She's right. She so, has a point. So, you know, it could be something going on with the Grammys. You know, the Grammys don't always do us right. Got so the there's really no telling what is going on. But I just hate the beef. I wish we could fix it. So as you guys heard, she even said it herself. Nicki Minaj rapped on the entire track. So why is this in a pop category? And it is good to see other female rappers um, rally behind Nicki Minaj because a lot of the men are still very quiet they haven't said anything in support of nikki really and i think that's what's missing a lot of times our black women who hold these high um statuses are left out to dry when they talk about things that are affecting them in their line of work and so to see the brat come out and support nikki minaj i thought that was awesome and i want to hear from you guys down below what do you think about these topics don't forget to subscribe to the channel give this video a big thumbs up i love you guys so much and we'll talk very soon bye